Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at some of the updates we've done for the Air Assist on the K40 slash eBay Chinese Laser. So, what we've done is in the past we've had these, this um, uh, airbrush pump. And we've done a little bit of changes because sort of with, with the, the prior setup, with this just free-flowing, I, I don't think it was the best. I wasn't getting the best performance or what I was happy with. So what I've done is I've taken an existing uh, tank from Harbor Freight, uh, air tank, and I've done some plumbing changes. So I'm just using a standard quarter. So I'm using um, actually an eighth to a quarter adapter here to go into the standard hose. I, I got this hose as part of another package at Harbor Freight, so I just happen to have it. Uh, so this is quarter inch hose. That runs into a coupler into the air tank over there. Uh, so you have the coupler here running into the air tank. And then we have uh, a quick coupler here. Now the reason for this is I want to still be able to use this this tank setup with my air nailers and things like that when I need to so I can feed from my bigger compressor uh, into this coupler and then out this coupler and take off the uh, regulator and air dryer over here. Uh, I also have a valve here that I can stop or control the volume of air going even going to the regulator and this actually works nice so what, what I do is I start up the compressor and run the compressor and let it build up to pressure so this will kick out at about 50 pounds now this I, I run at about mm, 10, 10 psi so with this tank at 50 uh, and, and, and everything it's got a good smooth airflow because part of the problem and eh, I don't know if I'll say problem but uh, performance issue I had before is the the compressor down here when it was free flowing with no tank in between it didn't get it, it, it puffed. It didn't have a unified flow of air, yeah, if, if, if I'm explaining that correctly. So it was like puffing, and, and I, I didn't like the performance I was getting in the laser. So now with this tank pressurized to 50 psi, 10 psi roughly pumping out of here, I get a steady air stream uh, coming out. So so the work pro the work product that comes out is a lot better. And that, that's one of the big reasons I'm sharing this is if you're using an aquarium pump or uh, 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 airbrush pump like I am here, this might be an option for you if you're getting, um, because what I would get is, is sort of intermittent burns on the uh, on the material depending on what material I was using because it, it, again it's, it's puffing so at some points I would have a high level of positive pressure and at other places I'd have a low level of positive pressure so it wasn't uniform and this tank has allowed me to keep it uniform so anyways I think that's a sort of a good working tip for this and again the uh, regulator and dryer came with the uh, compressor so there, there's nothing new there and again I just had all this plumbing from other stuff so I just reused this um, and then obviously I had this, this piping here and reused that I might clean this up in the future but it was what I had and I wanted to try it out and again it works great for uh, the cost investment. I think the tank at Harbor Freight's now up about 27 bucks for the basic tank, and then you can get the couplers. So th this whole setup you can probably get for about 35 bucks for all this. 35, 40 dollars tops at Harbor Freight. Couple it with the compressor, you're roughly at about 100 bucks for a very solid air system for your laser. And again, I'm using the Light Objects uh, Air Assist head in there with the 18 millimeter lens. I've done some other videos check out the playlist on that uh, for more details if you're looking. So hopefully this has uh, helped you uh, with your air assist. If you have got any air assist questions, hey, please leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Also, give it a thumbs up. It helps me make more videos and uh, help you guys out get started in the laser cutting arena. See you in the next video. Cheers.